All right, so in this word problem, we're dealing with two cyclists, and they are 120 miles apart. So I'm, with these kind of word problems, I have a hard time focusing, so I'm just going to kind of draw that out. So we have, let's call, we have cyclist A, and we have cyclist B. All right, and what do I know about them? They're 120 miles apart. So if you look at this distance between them, that is 120 miles. All right. Why am I drawing this out? It helps me slow down and reflect and think about what's happening. Also, I realize they're riding toward each other. So I'm going to pretend this means they're riding toward each other. And they're doing it at the same time. Okay, so one cycles twice as fast as the other. And we know if they meet two hours later, uh, at what average speed is each cyclist traveling? Okay, so one's faster than the other. So let's just say A is the faster cyclist. So... A is faster. This means, of course, B is the slower cyclist. Or maybe they're just riding against the wind and it's slowing them down, right? But either way, here we have A, the faster cyclist, and B, the slower. What do we know about them? Well, we're, we're dealing with rate and time and distance. So I'm going to look at those three variables. Rate times time equals distance. So maybe I can solve this by tying these things together or just listing out what I know about them. Let's say the slower cyclist uh, has some rate r. Well, what would the rate of the faster cyclist be? It would be double that. How do I know it's double? It says it right here. It's twice as fast as the other. Okay. What about the time? Well, they meet two hours later. So they're both traveling for two hours. That's the same for both of them. That's nice. Okay. So how far are they going? Well, rate times time equals distance. So 2r times 2 is the distance of the faster cycler, 4r. And r times 2 is the distance of the slower driver, uh, slower bike rider. All right, so now what? So when they meet, OK, they have traveled how far? Well, um, th that's a little tricky for me. But, but I'm, I'm thinking, OK, well, it doesn't really matter where in this distance they meet. Right, let's say they meet in the middle. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because they're traveling at different speeds. But I'm starting there to understand the problem. Okay, so if they meet in the middle, A will have gone 60 and B will have gone 60. That's 120. Well, but A is a little bit faster, right? So it's going to be maybe more this way. So maybe they're not going to meet there. Maybe they're going to meet here. Let's say I'm estimating. Um, and then I'm thinking, okay, well, if that's true, if they're meeting over here, how, how far they traveled. A has gone some amount, and B has gone some amount, but they still cover the 120 miles. So no matter where they meet, they're covering 120 miles. Now, it happens to me in this case that one cycles twice as fast as the other. So that's convenient because then we can think of, okay, um, A will have traveled double the distance of B. So if we cut this in thirds, we can see that B has gone a third of the distance, and A has gone two-thirds. And then we can cut up 120 into thirds. All right, well, that's 40, 40, and 40. So A will have traveled 80 miles, and B, 40. And this works nicely with 120. But I, I really encourage you to set up the algebraic equation because sometimes these numbers won't be so friendly. And we can use this table in the algebra to think about the problem for any combination of numbers. So what I'm saying is if we take their distances, right, that A has traveled and B has traveled. And you put them together. We think about that algebraically. 4R plus 2R will have to equal the total distance of 120. Okay. And that means, of course, 6R is 120. Divide both sides by 6, and we get R equals 20. All right. Well, here, that means the rate of the slower cyclist is 20. And the faster cyclist is twice that, which is 40. 40, I guess, miles an hour in this case. So um, so if we think about this for the, the two hours that have passed, this makes perfect sense. Um, the, the faster rider has a rate of 2R, which is 40 miles per hour. So they go 40 and 40 over two hours, 40 per hour. And B, in those same two hours, will go 20 and 20 and travel 40 miles. It fits this model of thirds. So I encourage you to set up a picture, just like I did right here. It helps us think about, oh, this problem actually isn't so complicated and the numbers work nicely. But also, set up the uh, table, or at least some list of your information. 
and then use that table to create an equation to solve it because I want I think it's important for you to be able to deal with any combination of numbers and the algebraic equation will give you that freedom. All right, thanks.